Welcome to AWE 2024 at Long Beach, California. This is the biggest AWE I have ever experienced. There are so many special hardware and applications out there thanks to the release of Apple Vision Pro. But we are not here to talk about Apple Vision Pro copycat, but innovative tech you should really pay attention to. Like the Vario Glassing Splatting VR application Teleport, the first pair of AR glasses from Japan built on the Snapdragon AR2 Gen 1 platform. But if you only have time to experience one thing at this year's event, that has to be the Sony new headset and haptic controllers, the spatial content creation system. As you see, Kitty is driving out here right now. Sony is a media-based company that understands pro-level content creation. This is even evident in their previous demo application for their new headset, which we are lucky enough to try out. This is the first ever public demo of the new Sony headset, and we have so many questions. If you don't know already, Sony is one of the micro OLED suppliers to Apple for Vision Pro. So the 4K per eye micro OLED display on this headset is comparable to Vision Pro, if not better. Let me do a live demo now and talk you through everything you should know about this Sony headset. So, so tell me like, uh, what each thing does. So this is your right controller. Okay. It's kind of like a mouse made for precision. Okay. So you're going to press and hold here to drag the case. Oh. Yeah, but it's reversible. So this line my mouse. So yeah. what, what about ring? Um, the ring is kind of supplementary. So you're going to put it on your finger like that. Okay. Ring fingers? Yeah. And then you're going to press with your thumb to the bottom. Perfect. Yes. Like that. And what what is what does that do? You can grab in this scene with this. So both Bo can do the same uh, feature. Yeah. Got it. In this app. In this app. Yeah. So, wait, how do I know I do it correctly? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right You're there. You're doing it, yeah. Okay. You got it. So put the headset in first. Yes, and the headset can be adjusted for your glasses here. You can pull it up and down. Oh. Yeah. And then you can adjust your IPD with your fingers. Got it. So guys, so you're going to hit right here, adjust front and forward. So fully immersion, uh, like kind of path through. And then just like Quest Pro, uh, we can do IPD here. What is the IPD range? Uh, I'm not sure the max, I'm so sorry. Okay, don't worry, right? Let me try it. Uh, so, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Don't break the headset, Hugh. Uh, okay, so IPD obviously two. So it's 58, it's 58, uh, IPD 58 millimeter all the way to 72. Wow, 58 to 72 millimeter. So I'm around 60. I have Asian, I have small eyes. So uh, tie that thing in. So subject to change. Wait, hold on. Let me get it in. So if I push this thing into my head, I can get a kind of full emotion. Uh, actually, the FOV is pretty big. Uh, obviously, not as big as the Vision Pro or, or Quest Pro, uh, but it's it's big enough. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. One thing about this thing is, I can do that. So so if I if I don't want to be virtual, I can just flip it up and down. That that is I think the most innovative design. Uh, do I have to connect to the cable or is it cableless? Uh, you don't have to have a cable. Okay, just for charging. Got it. So, so it's a it, it's a cableless VR device just like Quest Pro and Vision Pro. Uh, this is for charging. Uh, so I'm gonna go into virtual right now. Fix my hair first. Boom. Okay. So I can walk you through what I see because you can't see what I see. Uh, so I grab a controller right there. Uh, so this, I think I can grab some. Oh yeah, I can grab the camera. Oh okay. So in this application. Uh, developed by Sony, maybe Columbia Picture or whatnot, uh, is a virtual production thing. And then I am the DP, I can actually film and control the camera, the focal length right here. Ooh, and control the focal length, I can see right here, focal distance, broom effects. So, so Sony, again, is famous for movie industry, so, so they really want to like build a cinema application into VR. Uh, I think for as a director, as, a, as a, I'm a DP myself, right? Uh, first thing I'm going to visualize uh, what I'm gonna film uh, is virtual production, and this is a virtual set that Sony just built for us, so we can really like figure out what's the camera movement, like all the nice stuff, so we have a sharpness uh, instead of wasting money to for real talent. So this is really cool. So uh, not only I can control the camera, I can grab here, control the light, so I can control the camera and light, so I can be the grip and the camera operator at the same time. Uh, it's kind of funky. Uh, I can I can select character, 
So you can look around and see like uh, any screen door effects, no screen door effect. This is a very high uh, fidelity uh, VR headset. Uh, and also this is by the, uh, the Snapdragon XR2 Plus, I believe, uh, is the latest Qualcomm chips on the headset. It's higher than Quest 3. Um, so so uh, it, it's really good, but again, we can't really tell because we're looking at the Unreal build environment. So uh, we don't really look at the video footage, so we don't know how good the resolution is. Per eye, it's 4K per eye. I mean, but but I don't think the application running in full 4K and 8K uh, together. Uh, yeah. So uh, again, I don't have AR pass through uh, because uh, advertisement wise, these have like four cameras. Supposed to also have a pass through camera, which is through eye right here, looks through the whole thing. But I don't. Uh, I don't think the, the firmware is ready yet. This is a prototype, uh, so it doesn't really available on that feature yet. Uh, but that will be interesting to find out if it's as good as Vision Pro or not. That's a big thing, right? Vision Pro, the thing is like, you can wear Vision Pro. You don't need to wear, take this thing off. Uh, this thing, this thing I can, I can just do that. Uh, so we really don't need path through, uh, but I can just also close it, fully immersed. Uh, pretty good. Uh, and then the weight, uh, if it, the weight is pretty comfortable, uh, really balancing uh, the weight. Uh, in here, I think the battery, is there a battery behind me? Is, is there a battery in this thing? Is the battery part of the back of the headset? Or right. You should let someone else try okay, I'll I, I let somebody yeah, know what to explain it. Yeah, yeah so uh, we can answer the question. But again, uh, I think that's everything I want to see. So in this application, what should I do? Like anything instruction you want to give me? Um, so you'll see a few cameras and lights in the scene. It's a previous scene. Okay, it's a previous scene. So you just want to position the cameras like you're gonna direct and set up the lighting. Yeah, you have cameras. Can I point it straight yeah. to the camera? Yeah, that'll be amazing. Thank you so much. So hopefully, guys, you can see it. Again, like stereo-wise, it's probably not that good, but I want to just show you what I see. Uh, so you see what I see. So here is the camera I'm pointing. I'm holding the camera in two hands, uh, filming the talents. So I'm like doing a camera work. Oh, again, I'm a horrible DP without a gimbal, just <laughs> you know. So like handheld, it's gonna not be my thing. But again, I can adjust the, the angle. Oh, this is the light. I grab it right there. So see the red light right here? I'm pointing at her. So I'm being a, a gaffer, now she have a really ugly grow on her face because I'm pointing a light at her uh, with pretty high intensity. Turn it down a little bit. Right there. Uh, see, now I look like <laughs> some weird creature from, uh, from Doom. Uh, but yeah, see, you can control light, you can control camera, you do a really good previous. Uh, as a DP, a director to really like nail the frame. And as you see right here, again, I see a way bigger that frame than you only see a, a the, the virtual camera, but I actually see the entire scene, so I can I can tell that I'll point the building inside of her. Uh, I can do all that uh, in there. So this is very cool. Uh, yeah. So I think I don't want to take too much time because there's people with a great line behind me. People want to try this out, so I don't want to be that annoying influencer. But yes, this is the brand new Sony. What's it called? <laughs> Okay, this is the Sony Spatial Con. Wait, hold on. Uh, spatial Reality Headset. Okay, Sony Spatial Reality Headset. Uh, I will put the details back in the description down below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, I will show you what Qualcomm Snapdragon released that will change the AR glasses market forever. How Vario use iPhone and Glassian splatting technology to capture high quality environment directly into VR headset. Any VR headset, including Quest 3 and Pico, completely free. Also, the new Burning Man XR eye capture that built into a 6 stop game engine social experience, and so much more new and cool XR tech. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here, and I will see you in special next time.